reading today is taken from Luke 1, 59 to 68. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbour and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all the neighbours, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. The name John of this special child to come tells us in its original meaning that God has shown special favour. The Lord is shaping a new future for humanity and the newborn's call will be to announce to all that this is just what is happening. Zechariah and Elizabeth have been blessed with this new life in their declining years and through the miracle of this unexpected birth and of the binding and loosening of Zechariah's tongue the people realise that God is taking a very direct hand in events. They know that they are on the threshold of mystery. Each and every new life arriving is a reason for rejoicing. Any new life, including one's own, is sent to earth by God for some special purpose, unique to itself and always merits deep thankfulness and celebration. Let us thank him today for saving us and knowing we have a wonderful future in store. Amen.